how's it going challenge post my name is Tyler and uh, I'm gonna give you a demo of the project that I've been working on for the maps is art hackathon part of the summer jam hackathon series um see so here you can see the app that I've made uh, you have a map on the right and some options on the left I'll run through it twice um, the first time to show you from a user perspective what it does and then the second time, I'll talk uh, more in depth about what goes on underneath the hood. So up here, you can see I'm entering an address. Um, this is where I'm at. And then you can um, set how far you're willing to drive from that address. So just for um, this example, I'll just say, I want to go six minutes. Then I'll click Let's Go. So you can see it finds me on the map here um, and draws a red dot um, from the address that I gave it. And then it um, searches outward um, and draws this polygon around everywhere it thinks I can get in six minutes. By traversing the street data, um, it concludes that I can get everywhere within this polygon in six minutes. Um, so I'll run it again real quick and talk about more in depth here. So the first thing I did was a, uh, I pulled data from the OpenStreetMap site. And I wrote a separate application um, in Java that took the XML file that I got from OpenStreetMap and then um, gathered everything I needed and wrote it to a JSON file that I could then upload to the cluster point database with only the data that I needed. So for now with this application, um, you'll have to use it as if you're in uh, St. Charles, Missouri. Uh, that's where I'm from, by the way. Um, and you can see this red, this red outline outlines everywhere I have data for. Um, hopefully I want to expand on that in the future so that more people can use it. But for now, um, you'll just have to use it within St. Charles. So let me enter the address again. And say this time we are we're willing to go eight minutes out. Click let's go. It geocodes us. So what happens here with the red dot is it sends this address to a geocoder who then sends back me a latitude and longitude that I plot on the map. And I then find the closest um, spot, the closest node, I'll call it, in my database um, to that red dot. And that's where I start my search. Um, now for the search, the searching uses an algorithm called Dijkstra's algorithm, um, if you're familiar with algorithms. And um, it's similar to what you might expect in like a Google Maps um, that gives you directions. Um, so I start at a point around my red dot, and I then search outwards with Dijkstra's algorithm. Um, and I search everything within eight minutes driving distance. I calculate the, um, the time, eight minutes. Um, I calculate how far you can get by the distance between two points and the speed that you can go on that road, and conclude that this shape is how far you can get in eight minutes. And you can even see um, along the highway, so up here you have I-70, um, you can get a little bit farther because on a highway, naturally, you can go faster, and thus, and down here, you're on a different highway, so you can get farther away at the highways. Um, but however, however, over here, on the suburban and residential roads, you can't get as far because you obviously can't travel as fast on those roads. Um, and then, so once you have the endpoints of uh, what Dijkstra's algorithm computes, I use a library called turf.js from the Mapbox people, and it draws this nice polygon around that kind of represents the points that I have. Um, so that's the application, um, and eventually I want to um, load more data into the data set, obviously, so that uh, more people can use it than just the people within this box. And uh, I want to add the option of displaying places. So 
um, whenever I enter an address and then a number of minutes, um, it'll search that area, make this polygon pop up, and then say I want to eat food and I only want to go eight minutes, so it'll have um, a list of restaurants that pop up here or maybe a theater or whatever you're looking to do, but you only want to drive so far. Um, that's what I have in mind for um, this application in the future. So uh, thanks for watching this. Um, feel free to uh, let me know um, if you have any questions or comments or critiques. I'm open for all of them. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Hey, how's